the dog we had kind of stole the show. <laughs> he was doing, <laughs> he, I think he got the most takes from this scene. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alison Oliver and I'm doing a dramatic reading of Sally Rooney scenes with Elle. I'm not a religious person but I do sometimes think God made you for me. Someone out in the kitchen yelled something about cake and everyone left the utility room except for us two. The dog came in and Nick pushed her out with his foot and closed the door. He looked shy to me suddenly, but maybe only because he was still very flushed from the heat. That James Blake song Retrograde was playing outside in the kitchen. Nick had mentioned in an email how much he liked the album and I wondered if he had chosen the music for the party. I'm sorry, he said. I'm so high I can't really see straight. I'm jealous. I rested my back against the fridge and fanned my face a little with my hand. He held up his beer bottle and touched it to my cheek. The glass felt fantastically cold and wet, so much that I exhaled quickly without meaning to. Is that good? He said. Yeah. That's incredible. What about here? I shifted aside one of my shoulder straps of my dress and he rested the bottle against my collarbone. A bead of cold condensation rolled down my skin and I shivered. That's so good, I said. He didn't say anything. His ears were red, I noticed that. Do the back of my leg, I said. He moved the bottle to his other hand and held it against the back of my thigh. His fingertips felt cold brushing my skin. Like that, he said, but come closer. Are we flirting now? I kissed him, he let me. The inside of his mouth was hot and he put his free hand on my waist like he wanted to touch me. I wanted him so much that I felt completely stupid and incapable of saying anything or doing anything at all. He drew away from me after a few seconds and wiped his mouth, but tenderly as if he was trying to make sure it was still there. You probably shouldn't do that in here, he said. I swallowed, I said I should go. And then I left the utility room, pinching my bottom lip with my fingers and trying not to make any expression with my face. Out in the conservatory, Bobby was sitting on a windowsill talking to Melissa. She waved me over and I felt like I had to join them, although I didn't want to. They were eating clean little slices of cake with two thin lines of cream and jam that looked like toothpaste. Bobby was eating hers with her fingers. Melissa had a fork. I smiled and I touched my mouth again compulsively. Even while I did it, I knew it was a bad idea, but I couldn't stop. On the day the dog we had kind of stole the show, <laughs> he was doing, <laughs> he, I think he got the most takes from this scene. <laughs> <laughs> the actual, uh, the actual kiss. <laughs> you know, if your wife was there now, said I, she would take your tie off for you. Are you wearing a tie? No. What are you wearing? He glanced at himself in the mirror and looked away again, turning back towards the bed. The rest of the suit, he said. And no shoes, obviously. I take those off when I come in, like a civilized person. So the jacket comes off next, she said. Taking off his jacket, which involved switching his phone around between his hands, he said. That would be the usual order of business. Then the wife would take that off for you and hang it up, said Eileen. How nice of her. And she would unbutton your shirt for you, not just procedurally, but in a loving and tender way. Does that get hung up as well? Simon, who was unbuttoning his shirt with one hand, said no, that would just go back in his suitcase to get washed when he went home. After that, I don't know what's next, said Eileen. Are you wearing a belt of some description? I am, he said. Closing her eyes, Eileen went on. She takes that off next and she puts that away wherever it goes. Where do you put your belt when you can take it off as it happens? On a hanger. You're so neat, said Eileen. 
That's the one thing life loves about you. He brought her goodness like a gift and now it belongs to her. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for Conversations with Friends. And for more videos like this, subscribe to Elle.